Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gabby and today I'm going to show you the sweetest perfumes in my collection. So, probably you already know I love sweet perfumes, but these ones I have here, I think around 15. These ones are like the sweetest of the sweetest. So, before we start, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Okay, I have some honorable mentions uh, like Dior Hypnotic Poison, the EDT, um, the Lancome, La Nuit Trésor. These are like very sweet as well, but in my opinion, they're not as sweet as the perfumes I'm going to show you. So that's why they're not in this top. So let's start with, actually let's start with the new one. Let's start with Valentino, uh, Valentina Pink. I recently got this one. I'm going to hold it pretty soon, I think next week, because I got like more perfumes again. And this one basically in the opening smells like a strawberry syrup. It's strawberry and rose. The, um, the strawberry syrup is not there the entire time. Then this one dries down in a very beautiful rose. But the opening, it's extremely sweet. And I mean, very sweet. So yeah, I'm not going to get into too much details about notes and everything. I've already discussed every single perfume, I think. So yeah, just quick review. This one, like I said, in the opening, is not the, in the entire time very sweet, but in the opening, it's like very sweet, like very, very sweet, at least on my skin, because I've heard people saying that I'm not getting the strawberry on my skin. The strawberry is like super intense. So yeah, Valentina, Valentina Pink by Valentino. Next, we have, again, a new one by H&M, Vanilla Malagasy. So this one, this is like the new line from H&M. I'm not sure if you can find them in store. I think it's just online. This basically, it's a very sweet vanilla and that's it. It reminds me of another perfume that is going to be in this top. Uh, Shaga Food by Sush Arabian. So this one has oud, rose and vanilla. If you take just the vanilla from this, you're getting this, in my opinion. For the price and for being an H&M perfume, this one smells like very good. Like it doesn't smell cheap in my opinion, but it's like super, super, super sweet vanilla. From all of the perfumes that I have, that like just a vanilla perfume, this one is the sweetest that I have. So yeah, really like this one. Again, by H&M, this one is Vanilla Malagasy. Next, let's talk about, of course, Shaga Food. I wasn't expecting, so it was a total blind buy. I think everyone uh, blind bought this one because you can't really smell it in store. I was, I was expecting it to be a little more woody, a little bit darker. It is dark. It is, it has rose, but it also has vanilla, like this thing it's sweet and i mean super sweet it's not your girly sweet it's not your uh, teenage sweet no it's like mature sweet it's it's bomb it's i already said a brilliant time siage longevity with this one they're just amazing this one everyone's saying it's a dupe for oud bouquet by lancome i agree love this thing but again it's super super sweet so if you want a rose and oud perfume but you don't like sweet perfumes, maybe this one is not necessary for you. But if you also like sweet perfumes, definitely check this one out. So yeah, Shaga Food by Swiss Arabian. Another one by Swiss Arabian, we have Casablanca. So this, in the opening, you're getting this green apple and some caramel in it. It's very, it's, it's sweet, but it's kind of light. But then in the dry down, oh my God. The dry down is getting so so sweeter you, you also have i think vanilla in the dry down so it's going to be vanilla caramel it's just it's absolutely stunning i love this thing i love this thing again same as shaga food this one project this one last and this one is like super inexpensive so but again it's very sweet at least on my skin in the dry down it's like very sweet so yeah Casablanca by Swiss Arabian. Next we have actually a body mist. This one is by Sol de Janeiro Coco Cabana. This, oh gosh, 
This one is the sweetest coconut fragrance that I own. This it's coconut like at extreme power. It's so sweet. It's like for me this one smells like the um, Raffaello candies, you know, the inside um that I know that mix that they have inside that's like coconut and like vanilla. This one smells like that. It's absolutely stunning. It turns a little bit like popcorn on my skin and I've heard lots of people, I know that the old formulation is like super um, prominent on the popcorn note. This one doesn't have a popcorn note, but it still kind of smells like that. But again, it's like very, very, very sweet um, coconut perfume. So yeah, not perfume, body mist, but it like, it projects very well. It doesn't last, again, it's a body mist, but I, I love this thing. It's one of my favorites, so yeah. Uh, Coco Gabbana by Sol de Janeiro. Next we have, let's talk about this, Olympia Legend by Paco Rabanne. So, if you think Olympia is too sweet, this one is 10 times sweeter. Um, this one is basically the original, but the extreme version. It's very sweet, and I mean very sweet, and very salty. The salt note in this, it's very prominent. I like it, but I need to be in the mood for this. It can be way too much, even for me. I don't think it's a safe blind buy. I think the original one, yeah, it's a safe blind buy, but this one, I don't think it is because it's very, very sweet and very, very salty. So, might not be for everyone, but I really like this one. I, as you can see, I use quite a lot. It's a 50ml bottle. Yeah. Paco Rabanne, Olympia Legend. Next, we have something that everyone probably knew that is going to be in here. My love, Girl of Now by Elisab. This one is like sweet, sweet, sweet. Almond, vanilla, caramel. It's gorgeous. It's stunning. It's very sticky. It has this like sticky texture. Yeah, longevity. I don't have to talk too much about this. You already know. I love this thing. Uh, longevity it's amazing siage is amazing everything is amazing about this perfume love this one yeah very sweet again you need to love sweet perfumes but this is just amazing 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 girl of now by elisab another one that you're in, you already knew is going to be in this laviable just the original one this one is like this praline and patchouli but still like kind of fluffy yeah it sometimes like when i smell when i smell it from the bottle i don't think it's that sweet like for me i, I know that some people said that this is like extremely sweet for me it's not that sweet but on the skin if you over spray this one it can get like very sweet you know longevity amazing siage amazing it's a love hate relationship with this perfume some people love it some people hate it some people hate it just to hate it i love it i'm I'm always gonna have this one in my collection, so yeah. La Vie Belle by Lancome. Next, we have. Um, let's talk about this one by Salvatore Ferragamo, Signorina Misteriosa. So, this for me it smells like a berry syrup. This one is one of those perfumes that I think it's even too sweet for me. This is what I'm getting. I'm getting just like lots of berries. And like you make a syrup out of those berries. Siage is great, longevity is not like the best, but in, in general, the Salvatore Ferragamo perfumes are not like very, very long lasting, but they're not very, very expensive. So, yeah, this I think you have to try this one in store. Actually, this one wasn't a blind buy. I tried this one in store, I love this one, and then when I got the bottle, I was like, mm, I don't love it anymore. But What's in there? Something was flying. Sorry. Yeah. I I like it, but it can be too sweet. I like to uh, mix this one with some woody perfumes with something more like, I don't know, dark. Because this is just too sweet for me. Yeah, it's too sweet. But it, again, it's a beautiful perfume. If you are into fruity and fruity gourmand vanilla perfumes, you can check this one out. 
Next we have, I just hold this one, Lolita Land by Lolita Lempica. I'm not going to smell it actually from the cap because I already told you I really don't like how it smells here but on the skin oh my god this is um apricot peach jam with sugar on top it's extremely sweet it's like sickening sweet it has that jammy texture it's gorgeous this one I don't think I, I told you but this one it's also a Francis Group Dijon creation so you can tell you, you you already know that this one is good okay but I've heard I said that before I saw from Quantica that this one on some people is getting way too sweet and this it smells bad. From the cap for me, this one smells bad. On the skin, this one smells absolutely stunning. Siage, amazing. I mean, it's wow. The siage on this is just wow. Longevity, it's great, but the siage is just wow, wow, wow. So yeah, Lolita Lam by Lolita Limpica. Uh, three more to go. So. La Belle by Jean-Paul Gaultier. No, actually four. No, five. I'm sorry, guys. I cannot count. Uh, La Belle by Jean-Paul Gaultier. It's this very sweet uh, pear perfume. It's like pear and sugar and vanilla. And it has just pear, vanilla and vetiver. But for me, this one smells like a sugar pear with lots of vanilla. It can be, again, too sweet for me. I got it, I, sm I smelled this one in store, loved it. I said, okay, I need a full bottle of it. I got the biggest one. And now I don't regret getting a big bottle, but I'm not that crazy about this anymore. It's too sweet on my skin and it kind of gives me a headache. So yeah, but again, longevity, siage is great, but this one is like sweet, like sweet, sweet. So yeah. Label by Jean-Paul Gaultier. Another one by Jean-Paul Gaultier, we have Scandal by Night. Gosh, this is so good. If you like the original Scandal, you definitely need to check this one out. For me, this one is like, it has honey, has lots of honey. It's the original, but more intense. It's like uh, sweeter, darker, sexier. I like the original, but I'm not like crazy about it. With this, I'm absolutely like crazy. Like, I love this. It's very sticky. Like, the honey in this one is like sticky. I know it sounds weird, but once you smell it, you, you are gonna know what I'm talking about. Siage, amazing. Longevity, amazing. The bottle, come on, amazing. I love this. Absolutely love this one. It's again the darker version of the original, but also the sweeter version of the original. So, yeah. Scandal by Night by Jean-Paul Gaultier. Next, we have, again by Lolita Limpica, we have Sweet. So this, people are on Fragmentic are comparing this one with Tom Ford Lost Cherry. I've never tested that one, so I don't know. Actually, don't know. Siage and Longevity, they're all right. They're pretty good. This one for me smells like um, a cherry lip gloss but very very sweet cherry lip gloss and like fake cherry i like it but i'm not like crazy about this i have just a 30 mil i'm happy to have a 30 mil when this one's gonna be done probably i'm gonna get another 30 mil just because this one's like super inexpensive but yeah it's very sweet it's like sweet sweet again i know if it's a dupe or if it's similar to tom ford but this is what I read on Fragrantica, so I have to tell you. So yeah, Sweet by Lolita Limpica. Two more, two more, I promise you. Angel Muse Eau de Parfum by Nubler. You already know this one. It's Nutella, Hazelnut and Patchouli. It's Beast Mode. It's, it's, it's Beast Mode. But it's, all, it's also very sweet, but also very patchouli. It has that not like earthy like yeah a little bit earthy a little bit dirty patchouli in it but for some reason i really like this one i said before i liked it then i didn't then i liked it again and then i didn't and now i love it so again with this it's a love hate situation is not a safe blind buy okay not safe blind buy test this one in store 
if you don't like it taste it again maybe you're gonna like the next time it's something that you have to test a couple of times before you buy it but it's it's sweet it's sweet that hazelnut nutella it's super sweet so yeah angel muse the eau de parfum by mugler and now finally the last one aquarina pink sugar if you never try this one like what are you doing like everyone had aquarina pink sugar this one is like candy floss burned sugar it's extremely sweet it's like it almost burns your nose it's very sweet sillage it's amazing longevity it's amazing this thing is like 20 pounds it's just like this is gonna last you forever i think i have this bottle for like three years maybe and it's still half full and like i said i overspray usually if i have a 100 ml bottle and i'm gonna use just that bottle in one month it's gone probably three weeks but with this you need just like two maybe three sprays and you're good to go so yeah extremely sweet i don't think you, yeah you, you can't really smell this one in store at least not here in the uk i've never seen this one but come on it's cheap and if you like like super sweet this is more like your teenager sweet it's not like it's nothing mature it's nothing too sophisticated no but it's sweet and people love it so yeah aqualina pink sugar and that was it we are done we are done guys thank you so much for watching don't forget if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i will see you in my next one Bye bye